Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to quickly rename a MySQL database or change a schema name in a MySQL server. So now what we need to do here, uh, when I was uh, trying to figure it out, okay, how do we do that? So let me connect to one of the MySQL server here that's installed on Linux box. So I, I try to uh, go to the schemas or databases and then right click here and try to find out if there is any option uh, that I can use to rename this schema or database. Um, I couldn't find it. I find found drop schema or alter schema, but that doesn't give me the option to rename it. Okay. Now that's uh, one of the difficult tasks here because uh, uh, if you can drop it, why not rename it? Uh, the DBS should be very careful to do that. Uh, we have uh, in uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server, we can rename database uh, with a couple of clicks. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I think so like 40, um, I don't want to claim it like how many people are using uh, MySQL Server, but there is a lot of uh, companies that use uh, uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server. So uh, having a renamed database, I don't know why MySQL so, uh, uh, picky about that like okay if the, they will provide this uh, feature that will be hard uh, for the DBS to maintain uh, if, uh, even they are maintaining all those Microsoft uh, databases and uh, taking care of the rename part of it okay so if uh, this is a now uh, this could be very easy um, I tried the rename database and uh, then said okay tech brothers IT to the to the new tech brothers um, it new maybe okay if i run this statement so i get the error okay so rename is not really working here for the schema rename uh, what are the alternatives to do this one so there is alternative so you first of all you will create a, one thing could be okay you will simply take the full backup mysql dump and uh, then uh, restore as a new database um, so that's one of the things we will learn in the future videos uh, how we will uh, take full backup of a database and uh, then restore as a new database uh, but uh, i want to keep the same things here i don't want to if there's a uh, uh, your database is 300 gb you don't want to create the mysql dump and create uh, uh, restore it another uh, a couple of hours or maybe sometime it take more time i want to do something quick here so what we can do we can uh, create a new database called the creator database let me call this one uh, tick brothers uh, uh, it new okay that's the name of uh, our new database uh, go ahead and create it the database is uh, created or schema is created uh, now what we need to do we need to move the tables uh, from our tech versus it database to the new tech versus uh, okay how we do that so that can be done with the rename and uh, we say rename um, we will say tech versus rename table okay tech versus old dot table name so in this case uh, if you notice that I have EMP underscore CP EMP underscore CP and where I want to put that to tech versus new dot uh, EMP underscore CP okay very easy to do that uh, so once I do this uh, what happen uh, now I'm gonna take it to Linux where I have installed the uh, MySQL server. So if we go to the directory, where uh, these files are there for databases. So var lib cd uh, MySQL, and I'm gonna do ls here minus ls. So you can see that. So right here uh, I have tech versus it, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say cd tech versus it. Let's paste it here. Okay now if i do ls minus la so that will show me the table files so you can see this table file once i run this uh, uh, rename table here rename table from uh, this uh, uh, old database uh, to the new database uh, what happened it will take that file in the linux uh, uh, this file and put into the new database uh, directory so that's what is going to happen so let's do that uh, if you want me to show you I can show you the uh, uh, old database file directory so you can see that there isn't any file as of now so you can see that there are no files right now but once we copy that this file will be gone from the old and it will be in the new directory okay rename database uh, unknown database tech brothers okay it's tech brothers not brother Okay, let's do rename. Uh, okay, that's completed. You can see that uh, this doesn't have a whole lot rows, so that's completed. If I will refresh a schema here, I should not see this table 
here as well the table has moved to the new database um, so if i'll go to new database uh, uh, it will be there uh, so you can see right there okay the same way i'm going to do the employee table so if i will go here now let us do ls minus la and we can see that the table came to the new directory so it is in a tech versus new database directory now okay great now the same way what we will do we will uh, do for the uh, employee and uh, let me do employee and uh, let's do employee here again okay let's run this uh, statement and uh, that's completed now we go back uh, to our uh, databases here refresh and uh, this is a, a refresh this one so you can see that uh, the table has moved to the new database we can right click here select the top thousand rows or five whatever the some uh, rows here see if all the rows are copied uh, to the new database table right here so they are done okay great this looks great and uh, what you have to do you have to do it pretty much for each of the table here so employee uh, sorry copy okay and the uh, employee copy here as well so i'm going to copy and paste here we have a uh, uh, thanksgiving holiday and uh, that's one of the reason the kids are wandering around and the uh, uh, families are making a lot of noises so ignore that noise uh, you don't care about that part we care about the moving our tables from one old database to the new database uh, and that we have completed uh, successfully so there were three tables i moved them successfully now the old tech brothers doesn't uh, old tech brothers it database doesn't have any table so i, went, I can go ahead and uh, drop schema so it will drop the schema now your tech business new is ready and if you go to the uh, directory here you will see i, I should have run uh, um, the show you the tech versus uh, directory before dropping it uh, so you would see that there would be no file for the end table there because they are moved in the tech versus a new directory here okay great now what we have uh, we don't have to do anything here uh, just uh, more thing uh, as you have created the new database uh, you have to take care of the permissions uh, so provide the permissions uh, you can go to the user and privileges uh, and uh, take a look on the permissions before uh, drop uh, creating a new database uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, kind of take a look on your old database provide the permission what exactly your user had uh, an old and you can provide on the new one uh, other things uh, uh, such as the uh, views uh, so now you have store procedures functions and all that you can always uh, script those uh, objects uh, and uh, uh, run the scripts on the new database so pretty tricky and <laughs> to be honest with you i don't like this feature at all like they have removed database name uh, command uh, from um, uh, mysql well like uh, i don't want to say something all right so anyways uh, because uh, when you are creating a new database you are pretty much migrating the whole database objects one by one to the new database uh, just for the renaming purpose uh, that's uh, totally um, not uh, smart uh, here um give me your suggestions or uh, write me if i'm missing something that is a better way to do it uh, i would like to le learn about that and uh, so i can uh, make my life easy and make uh, uh, other people's life easy easy maybe i can share those tips with other friends uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video